Hello everyone! Interested in becoming an HVAC professional in the state of Florida? Before doing so, it is important to understand the guidelines set forth by the Department of Business and Professional Regulation, a division of Florida's Construction Industry Licensing Board. When learning to learn more about HVAC licenses, certificates, and schools in Florida, there's a lot of information out there. Here, we break down the process and requirements so you can decide if this is the right career for you. If you want more information on this topic, check out the links in the description below. If we missed something, please let us know in the comments. Now let's get down to business. Let's start with the requirements. In order to become a certified HVAC technician in Florida, you must be at least 18 to apply for any of these. For mechanical contractors, you must have at least four years of experience, a credit report and financial statement from the current year, net worth of $2,500 to $20,000, and with general liability insurance of $100,000 for bodily injury and $25,000 for property damage. And for A plus B air conditioning contractors, you were required to sit for two exams in business or finance in your desired trade, provide a credit report and financial statement from the current year, have a net worth of $2,500 to $20,000, and general liability insurance of $100,000 for bodily injury and $25,000 for property damage. After becoming certified, you can expect a median income of $43,640 annually for HVAC technicians, an earning potential of over $68,000 a year if you're in top 10% of HVAC technicians, and plenty of job opportunities because the demand for technicians in Florida is predicted to increase by over 30% in the coming years. This will require you to pass the Mechanical Contractor's License Exam. The exam is $135 and taken in two 4.5-hour sections, one taken in the morning and the other at night. You need at least a 70% score to pass, and the test is taken on-site at the date and location selected on your application. Another exam is for the A plus B air conditioning contractor's license. For this, you'll need at least a 70% to pass, the exam fee is $135, the test is taken on-site at the date and location selected on your application, and you will need 14 hours of continued education to acquire and maintain this license. You'll also need to pass the NADE exam. When taking this test, first, choose your technician type, whether it be installation or service, identify which specialty exam you would like to take in addition to the core exam, register for a testing session in your area, then pay $95 to maintain a five-year certification. It may be a lengthy process, but when you're ready for your new HVAC career, it will be worth it. Hopefully, this video has given you all the information you need to become a certified HVAC technician in Florida. If this has been helpful, let us know in the comments. If you want to read more into this, check out the links in the description for more information. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a thing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon!